happy Tuesday and welcome to like a little life lately life update vlog. I like just woke up. It's like 7 30 right now and it's actually Tuesday like two days before you guys are watching this and I'm so freaking excited to make this video because I feel like all of my videos for the last like month or two months have been just like no not two months. All my like moving content was so pre-filmed because I had filmed so much that I like honestly missed being like in more real time with you guys. It's a little bit more stressful in the moment just because I have to make sure that I like edit this video by Thursday, but that's like kind of what I'm used to. So welcome to Life Lately Vlog. If you guys are possibly new here, hi, my name is Jenna. I'm 25, just moved into this apartment with my boyfriend who just started medical school too. His name's Thomas, you guys will see him later. I don't know if you guys can hear that clicking, but He's studying right now, <laughs> but he's here. And it's been around like a month and a week since we've lived here. Since you guys last saw me, I think it has been like maybe two weeks since I've vlogged anything. I like, I mean, I told you guys in that last vlog, I was like totally exhausted. I wanted to take a little bit of a break, which literally just meant like one video. <laughs> I took one video off didn't film and now we're here. So welcome to this Life Lately vlog. There's not gonna be like too, too much editing for this vlog and the next video just because I really wanna like actually update you guys and catch up with you. I need to like ease back into editing if that makes sense, just cause I have taken like a little bit of a break from editing. And I do have like a couple of apartment updates that I've made since. And then I do have some new clothes to show you guys too. And so yeah, that will be the vlog today. But for the most part, I think, this is gonna be like a morning vlog, like a morning in my life. I have a good hour and a half before work and there's not like too much I need to actually do. So which is why I was like, I should just talk to you guys and like catch up with you guys before work. I usually go into the office on Tuesdays, but I'm not today because of one of the new updates that I made to the apartment. But I think that's everything. I'm so tired. I think you guys can like hear it in my voice. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. And let's spend this morning together. I still haven't made, whoa, there's, there's Thomas. <laughs> but you guys i still haven't made like some big updates that i mentioned two weeks ago and just like be patient with me because once we felt like the apartment was pretty settled i just like needed to take a break from all the building and buying and furnishing and all that stuff i know you guys love to see it but i was like getting to a point where i was like oh my god this is like too much right now so i still want to get a new mirror for this coffee area nook i was going back and forth between like an asymmetrical like those cool trendy mirrors but i think ultimately i'm gonna do a larger gold arched mirror and then this will go in the entryway just because like i love these clips like i love having the window in the background and it's just like a nice bright area i want to get a bigger mirror but that's just like I don't know why I haven't gotten it yet. I just like needed, my credit card just needed to break you guys. But here's how the coffee area is looking. I took off my perfumes because you guys were like, oh my God, do not put your perfumes in the natural daylight. And I was like, that sounds about right. So I took that off. Now I just have my earrings here in this display case that Thomas' sister actually gifted me. This is so pretty. This is from Muji. And then I have, I just have like my everyday makeup because I haven't really been wearing that much makeup at all. So, my brows and mascara I have right here. And then I have my art print here from Aesthetics Frames and the coffee area, that's how this is looking. And yeah, okay, I need, I need coffee. That's why I'm here. Thomas, do you want coffee? I'm not gonna put on my contacts just yet just because I like wearing them in the mornings until like midday. I have such dry eyes because I've been wearing contacts since like 
sixth grade. I just need those extra hours in the morning and I'm still waking up. So I just like not putting in my contacts first thing in the morning unless I'm going to the gym. So let's change. I'm literally still in my pajamas. This is like merch from an artist. So let's change. I don't know what I wanna wear today. Here's one of the new things that I wanna show you guys in my closet. Okay, so everything still looks the same in terms of the closet, but here's this new thing. So the last time you guys saw my closet here, I had my sports bras here, which is still true. And then I think I had all of my underwear and just like other random things in this bin, but like my thongs and my regular underwear were mixed. And then I had all of my socks in this corner one. So now there's just bras in here. In this bin, there's like belts and like I think bralettes and stuff and then like my tube tops. But I got this over the door organizer and I don't know why I didn't even think to get this up until like two days ago. But this is just a small organizer that I got on Amazon. And you guys, it's literally so perfect because it's not too big, which I like, but it has all of the organizers that I need. So I have my regular underwear in here, like my like bikini underwear, whatever you guys don't need to know. <laughs> I have like all of my thongs here and then I have all of my white socks here. All of my black socks like the fact that I can organize my white and black socks actually is a big game changer for me because there are times where I want to wear one over the other and it's just like so easy now I really really like this it's so nice I have some microfiber towels up here and then I have all of my like fuzzy socks like my like lounge warm socks up in this one and just I'm telling you guys like I would spend more time than I even wanted to when all of these socks were in the same bin so this is like a nice new addition to the closet I might get another Another one to put on this side but honestly I don't really have a need for it just yet maybe when I bring all of my fall clothes from my house because that's what's still missing like this is very much like a summer closet right now like you see all of these tank tops and stuff but when it turns into fall you guys like I'm genuinely nervous because there's not a lot of stuff I'll take home like maybe I'll just have less tank tops but <laughs> these are all things that I could wear in the fall anyways so we're trying to figure it out but that's the update with the closet right now everything else in the bedroom is all the same this is kind of like how the clothing rack is working we haven't really done anything to it honestly we just know that like it works we mainly got it for my makeup and my brushes and my perfume and stuff so it's serving its purpose right now maybe we will have our most used coats or something up on display i'm not really sure but i'm actually surprised that we didn't like jump to, to use all of this stuff but it was mainly just for like my makeup and my perfume let's change what i want to wear i want to wear this lululemon i got this on sale at lululemon when i visited rachel van in florida check out that vlog if you guys haven't seen it so i think i'm gonna wear a pair of just like regular shorts yeah. And here's how the apartment is looking otherwise. There's not really anything new to be honest you guys. We still have like my tray. This one flower died from the orchid but the other side of the orchid is actually doing really well which I love. Our bar cart area is so cute. I just love looking at this Miss You Already sign. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with the bar cart area. The living room still looks all the same. We go back and forth between using that corner lamp and then just like the behind the TV govy lights. These are just like the coolest freaking lights ever. Like look at how that is like so cool. And then we're gonna leave the Ikea floor mirror here. It just makes the most sense. And honestly, like if this had nothing, I guess I could put art here, but I just think it like makes the most sense here. This is ultimately what I'm choosing for the mirror. It just like, I tested it out over there and it looked so bad. So we're not doing that, but I love how it looks here. It's like really cute for like outfit photos. It's also just like really nice to have in the living area, I think. Here's the floor mirror. It is so nice and big, you guys. And it was literally like 100 $50 or something like that. Okay, we're gonna turn this off. And then I think that's everything. These flowers are dead, but like, just excuse that. Okay, and then lastly, the only other apartment update I need to show you guys has to do with the desk area. And I'm gonna film a whole separate like couples or like two person work from home desk setup just because how could I not? Like, look at this, it looks so nice. But, hello? <laughs> This is what I got, you guys. I got an under the desk walking pad. Honestly, you guys, I will just put in a clip of me using the walking pad, but oh my God, I got it maybe like a couple days ago, maybe like 
a week ago now. It is amazing. It is so nice. I got the one that like this girl on TikTok was, it's like the one that she uses and I think it has pretty mixed reviews. So I will put it in my Amazon storefront. I have one of those now, but I'll also link it in the description box. Just keep in mind the reviews are mixed, but I've honestly had no problems with it. I was really nervous, but I really wanted a walking pad that didn't have a bar and I wanted something that I could fit underneath the couch. I wish it fit entirely underneath, but it doesn't, but it's fine. I really think it's like the best we can do, which is sad, but it's fine. It is so nice, you guys. It just makes me so productive, especially when I'm working from home because you guys know I like to go to the office a lot. And since I've been going less, I'm trying to figure out like how to stay productive when I'm working from home. And ever since I got that walking pad, first of all, I love walking, you guys know that, but it is so nice in terms of staying productive because if I feel myself procrastinating or like I go on my phone and I'm walking, it's just a lot quicker for me to be like, oh no, I need to like get back to doing something. Or if I'm doing research, for example, and I'm like reading a bunch of stuff, it just kind of helps keep my brain moving and it is so freaking nice and the fact that i can get all of my steps in during the work day is like i'm not even kidding is such a game changer please get the walking pad again i'll put i hope I, at this point i already put the clip of me like using it but it's so freaking nice oh my god i love it i'm not even gonna do whatever i'm just <laughs> <laughs> that is another thing that i like really need to lean into vlogging from this apartment now because Thomas and I live together and like this is like a 50 50 place like we share this like equally I used to be so used to vlogging with like nothing in the background oh oh to break I mean I feel like this is something that you guys don't realize as the audience but I realize this as a creator like I need like silence when I'm vlogging but since I live with Thomas like you guys will will hear background noise all the time and you're you're just gonna have to be okay with that because I feel so bad like waiting for him to do his thing so that it's like quiet so he has a mechanical keyboard I don't know if you've been hearing that clicking but <laughs> that's just a part of vlogs living with someone now there's like actually another human being here so i need to get used to it and you guys need to get used to it but i hope you guys understand i'll try to do my best but i can't guarantee that like it'll be quiet all the time now okay i spent this morning journaling which was really nice instead of doing just like a thought dump or like brain dump i did like prompts this morning if i don't want to scroll too much in the morning and i just want to like get some journaling in and get some thoughts out i'll do prompts and it's really nice because it's just a lot quicker but i still feel like i like spend time with myself and it's just nice being at this dining table looking out at the view like did i show you guys the view this is our morning view it's so pretty that's why i like sitting in this chair specifically because i can just look out and see the sky instead of like that apartment but it's so pretty, isn't it? Okay, well, it is like 8.18. I'm going to rest for a second and maybe like, I was like, should I start work? No, do not start work earlier than you need to. Since I have a little bit of time before work, I wanna show you guys these new Urban Outfitters clothes for the fall. Okay, first of all, thank you so much to Urban Outfitters for gifting me these products. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot wait to show you guys these clothes. These are all non-sponsored, like I said, but they just wanted to gift me some of their like fall essentials and starting with these platform mules. You guys, I've wanted these for like years and I don't know why I've never gotten them. I've just always wanted a pair of like platform chunky mules like this. I think this is perfect for fall because it covers most of the foot and it's black. So I just think it's like perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I got these in a size seven and I think they fit perfectly. So I'm gonna link them below along with everything else that I'm showing you guys. And I also wanna show you guys just clips of me wearing these clothes cause I'm not gonna put them on right now, but I need to show you how they look on because everything fits so well and i'm not kidding like you'll see if it's so well and it's just like such a vibe for the fall so i'm gonna put clips on like my phone of me trying on these clothes on like this side or this side i don't know whichever one fits but these clothes are so cute okay let me show you guys we got a bunch of things in multiple colors which i really like but not this one this is a black sheer like tank top and I don't know this tank top just really stood out to me because I feel like it's a little bit more feminine and a little bit more girly than you think but when you pair this with like a flannel I just think it adds a nice balance between like a feminine touch versus like a, a fall flannel so I got this tank top to wear underneath like leather jackets and stuff too I just think it's really cute and I love the fringe 
This is from the Out From Under line from Urban Outfitters, which is like their lounge, like intimate wear. And I love this because it's seamless and it's thick. And I love this pink color. I love this black color. It's just really nice for layering stuff underneath like flannels and other things. And I think that it's also a really nice length. It's like cropped, but not too cropped, which I really like. So I got it in black and this bright pink. And then I also got the BDG crew neck. This is in this like mustard brown camel color. I love this too, just because I feel like it screams fall. It looks really nice with black and blue denim you guys know I'm always thinking about black and blue denim for colors but I just think that this is really nice it pairs really well underneath a lot of the flannels so I got this top and then I got two fall hoodies I got this forest green color and that same like camel color and I think that these are so freaking comfortable I sized up in this I got a size medium just because I like it to be really oversized and I think again these colors look really good with jeans but they also look really good with leggings you can wear underneath denim jackets leather jackets I just like having hoodies specifically for the fall because when you layer them with other jackets and other pieces it looks very casual put together and comfy and then for the fun things I got some I got like so many flannels you guys it's crazy thank you so much to Urban Outfitters this is the first flannel that I got this is their cropped flannel and I wanted this to be so big and so oversized because it's cropped I'm on the shorter side so I can get away with cropped things not looking too cropped so I got a size large and I just thought that this colorway was really pretty it comes in four other colors but I mean this just screams fall to me and I've always really enjoyed the like beige type of flannel colors too that's how you can tell that this is like the cropped version the like fraying at the bottom but i just think that this is so cute if you want to size up like me i literally got a size large and it's i think it's perfect and then these non-cropped flannels are from urban outfitters this season and there's this other flannel that i have that's from like maybe like three or four years ago that i still love I'm never gonna throw that thing away. I love that flannel so much. But Urban Outfitters just has really good, high quality flannels. They're really soft. They last a long time. You can wash them multiple times and they won't like lose its wear. So I got this blue, which I love. I love the like blue and yellow. I think it's really, really pretty. And I like that the bottom of the flannel has like a different color pattern too. I love that. And then I got this black and red flannel for like extra fall vibes. This is just like, I mean, this is like a classic fall color too. So I just think that Urban Outfitters like hit it out of the park with all the flannels this season. There's so many others. Check out those links in the description box because I'm telling you guys, I think they're really worth it. More tops. This colored brown zip up top is so cute. It has It's like slightly open back at the bottom, which I feel like is a really nice touch, but anything with collars, I love. And I really love this. It's like very nice and form fitting. Chocolate brown can never get old. And then this graphic tee, this is like the famous one from Urban Outfitters, the sublime distressed one. I love wearing huge oversized graphic tees to sleep. When I'm at the gym, they're just like perfect and sublime. It's just like always the vibe for graphic tees. I don't know why. Oh, I also got the BDG Everyday Tea and Chocolate too. Forgot to mention that. And then I got three pairs of jeans. These are the high and wide jeans. And I got this in a black color and a light blue color. These jeans are really nice. The BDG high and wide jeans. I like having non-distressed jeans for some reason. I don't know. I go back and forth between having distressed and non-distressed jeans, but... I like having non-distressed right now. I just think it look, looks more put together, especially if you're wearing more like grungy things like dark flannels, leather jackets. For some reason, I just, this season, I wanna wear non-distressed stuff. So the high and wide is so nice. If you have like slightly thicker legs like I do, at least I think that I do, high and wide is your style. It just slims out your legs. They're a lot more comfortable and I just think they look really good with booties, with sneakers. They look really nice and they fit really nicely too on the waist and like the bum area. So I got this. And then lastly, I got the stretch cowboy jeans from the BDG line. I have these in like a cream color that I actually hauled with you guys, I think in the winter time and I love them so much. They actually fit really well. If, if any of the jeans fit a little bit tight at first, you just have to wear them a little bit and they'll give with your body. But I also wanted to get this denim color too for the cowboy jean because these just, they're not as wide at the bottom so i really like them it's slightly darker than the light wash of the high and wide so this is like a good medium medium light wash 
I got this cool crop top. I thought this was really sweet because I just like the backwards threading. I just always think that looks really nice. It, it makes a basic look a lot more detailed, I think. So I got this black one. I think it'll look really good with all the flannels and stuff too. And then lastly, I guess to match the shirt, I got this really cute tote bag and it's like one of those mini tote bags. I, I love these so much just because they're like a crossbody, but they're small so they don't really like get in the way of anything. And since it's black, you can wear it all the time. And the threading just kind of makes it look a little bit more put together and like a little bit different, I think. I clearly had like a vision with all this stuff. Everything just like matches and goes together really well. Thank you so much Urban Outfitters for gifting me these products. I will link everything like I said below. Yeah, that's everything. I cannot believe they gave me all this stuff. I tried all this stuff on. I know I have the tags on, but I tried everything on and everything was so cute and I just didn't want to lose everything. So now I can actually wear these clothes all the time and they're just still really nice. So make sure you guys check everything out. Well, now it is 8.45, so I'm gonna go ahead and start work and enough this vlog. Thomas is right here. When we work together here, we just work together side by side. I like it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just like a simple morning in my life life update let's catch up vlog honestly since i've not been filming i've just been spending a lot of time either like resting and refreshing or i've just been seeing a lot of friends i had a lot of friends from college visit especially over the weekend and i just feel like sometimes there's not enough time for everything that i want to do because i do really value seeing my friends and having like a social life outside of my screen my computer and my camera and everything so it was just really nice and now i'm ready to get back into vlogging i'm actually really excited i was like kind of nervous starting this video just because i was like i don't know how this is gonna be but i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys feel caught up with me i'm trying to think of other things that we need for the apartment i really don't know it's really just like that mirror and i think ultimately we're not gonna get something for right there maybe we will but it's not really pressing so i don't know just yet and then the sconces in the bedroom fell but i don't <laughs> We have to figure that out. I think we're just gonna end up like actually nailing it to the wall instead of using like command strips because we do plan to be here for like the next 13 months or something at least. And I think that's everything as of right now. Next, you guys have a growing getting ready video and then the Tulum vlog and just other things. So stay tuned for that. I'll go into more about like how I've actually been doing and like how I've been adjusting to this transitional period of my life so make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already i post new videos every monday and thursday i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already